Hey yo, Wastelanders, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Settlement Spotlight. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best camp I have ever ever made in Fallout 76 and hopefully one of the best camps you have ever seen. This goes beyond what camps are capable of and it is more like a settlement. So stay tuned and let's get right on into it. All right, welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing fantastic today. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. And if you like Fallout content, there's plenty coming out on the channel every second day and sometimes more. With that out of the way, let's get right into the spotlight and what my settlement features. The main features, starting with resources, we have five industrial water purifiers, one acid extractor, one scrap Fosnot Collectron, plenty and plenty of corn crops. The natural features are the base is built over a beautiful lake and it has a natural stream and waterfall. Features a unique cave, which I've converted into a love den and the back garage opens directly to a natural path, which leaves upstream to my neighbor's house. And the build features are a campsite storytelling circle, a CD shed housing Fosnot Collectron and Commander Daguerre, a cabin fully decorated with Fosnot, masks on display shelves, and four vending machines serving as a sort of public party house. We have a player-made bridge leading from the community settlement area up into the main housing, and the main housing is a contemporary steel fortress hybrid. The main house is built three stories above the initial camp placement and extends over two stories high, utilizing camp height and even beyond the camp height and the main house itself features one kitchen slash living room, a bedroom, one bathroom, a workshop garage, and a second level fortress outpost. With all that said, there's a lot going on in this settlement, so why don't we give you guys a first-hand tour of everything right now. So it is currently nighttime, which is just perfect because this is where I want to start the tour to give you guys the nighttime experience because some of the main features, such as the campfire story, Storytelling circle has some pretty cool features here. We got the uh, corn crops, the gorilla, the crane treasure hunting sign. We can cook some stew by the fire and tell some stories. And right across from us is our love den. It's right underneath the big giant contemporary fortress. <laughs> so while it's still nighttime, let's go take a closer look at the love den. We have this this pathway that's built by, I mean, it, it's part of the game. It's a gift from the game. <laughs> so it, it actually leads all the way up to the side door of the house and it creates this nice, beautiful lit pathway with all the corn crops, the lanterns, right into the path. I've even used the um, spring bundle to place a few extra trees and bushes around just to light, uh, make it feel a little bit more natural. And then we've lit it up with Chris, uh, ice crystals we have the nuclear winter lamp, as well as the other nuclear winter uh, campfire. We have a little love there. We have the wasteland love seat and a nice little boat with a oil lantern. And it is being manned by the Deathclaw himself. <laughs> lovely, lovely stuff. So uh, hopefully we can, uh, I'll cut to it at daytime and you can see the view better, but there is the waterfall there. It streams right down into the lake. The water wheel is currently not working, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's really nicely lit down here. It's really nicely lit up above. So I'm really happy with the way this all turned out at night. So we have a couple stash boxes, which used to be in there. I had to put them outside and you'll see why in a sec, but we have the new Fosnot Collectron. And what's interesting is I found out that all the Collectrons you uh, acquire end up learning the collecting recipes of the other robots. So I can turn him into a scrap bot. Looks like we have a shopper here coming to buy some stuff from us. So yeah, he's actually able to collect junk now and he sings those songs. We have Commander Toguerre. I've dressed her up like a witch, which is quite fun and our settler camp but he is pretty loud isn't he so let's go see where this guy just went into this is our party room enter in we have four vending machines here and i just finished loading them up these two are strictly recipes i'll let you have a look at them all there i mean i guess you could see everything that i'm selling i just go through the list you can pause it if you want but uh yeah there's a 
a whack ton of stuff in there. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then our display cases of all the Fosnop masks that I have collected so far. I'm just missing one here. Definitely want the Death Claw one. I think that would be it. And I would have them all, I'm not sure. But then there's the Old Man Winter Power Armor Helm. We have balloons in here, confetti on the floor. I don't know if you could see that or not, but it's there. Streamers, little ribbons and stuff. It's quite decorated in here. So this is kind of like the public uh, party house. There's really no reason for people to go upstairs at all. He closes himself in. But we have water purifiers. They uh, they cap out at five. Each one of these fills up. And I put stairs here so that you could go down without falling in the water. And they're easy to loot from here. Why was not that one filling up? And then we have an acid extractor as well. That caps out at 10. So yeah, that... This all ties in, as I showed you, the path winds up into the side of the house. And then we have, so basically I, I originally placed my camp there. Oh, you know what I didn't do, guys? I didn't show you the location. So we're right outside of uh, top of the world here. So there we go. Uh, yeah, this all ties in and around. And when I originally placed it here, that's one story below us. This is one story up. Two more stories up is the house. And that is a two story house as well. So I've completely utilized the, uh, the space. And if I were to show you guys the circle at the very end, we have built all all the way around and the house barely fit in here. So coming on up, we have a little bit more fast knot decorations. We have musical instruments out here, ice box, a bench. We'll show you off the uh, garage here. I've just made a change to this. I actually redid the whole recording. I already recorded this, but I wanted to redo it because I made a bunch of changes today. It's Tuesday today. They fixed player vending and they added a whole bunch of new stuff. And that's when I bought the fast knot pack and the spring bundle. And that gave me this really cool wallpaper this black floor before it was just concrete and black tiles and I didn't like that this looks way more fancy it's super pretty in here I wanted to do the open grate because I usually don't like one high buildings I usually do one and a half or two and it creates more open spaces but because this is my only one high area we did the graded roof so it gives us a bit of um op you know natural lighting it makes it feel a little bit more open in here and a little bit more spacious. So pretty happy with the way that turned out. And as uh, mentioned earlier, we have a natural path, as you can see, that leads right up the uh, little creek stream. And just getting up to about here, my friend has built their camp right here. So I literally have um, a pathway that leads, connects our two houses together. I have another friend building right over there and we're going to start making a little bit of a community. So if that's something you guys are interested in, you want to come build with us, come join us on Discord. Links are down in the description below. And uh, once once you get on here, we can communicate. You can hop in voice with us and come plop a camp near ours. Very cool. So let's go uh, into the main house. The garage is separate, and I thought, like, maybe if I wanted to lock my house, but people coming by to use the vending machines, maybe they need to work on something. So I didn't want them to have to enter the house. Uh, so the door used to actually be behind these stairs. So looking in the main room here, we have a lot of decorations. Uh, all the little hunter heads up top, wallpaper. It's a bit of a, like a Nuka-Cola theme. We got the Nuka-Cola fridge, the Nuka-Cola clock, poster. I, I used to have like a little thing here. I, uh, yeah, but I put the mushroom down because I got the spring bundle. We're cooking frog stew, the brewing machines, the cooking uh, stove, red enamel to match the uh, Nuka-Cola. This, this store is kind of neat. It's the carnival door it's the only door i could get to work that didn't like bump into the counter or bump into the steins or whatever and we have steins on display as well i thought that was a nice touch and of course uh, we're growing a giant mushroom in the bathroom <laughs> punch bowl for the sink on top of the ice box so that's kind of fun and the bedroom i'm really happy with it's a very blue's my jam i love blue i love fallout and the logo for the channel is blue so this is the like channel 5 gaming vault tech fallout bedroom <laughs> it is totally vault tech fallout out and i'll just upgrade this trophy as i play more nuclear winter i just started playing nuclear winter and it, i'm actually having a lot of fun with it to be honest and then we have a side door that leads us down to our our pathway that ties us back to the love den so it does definitely has a flow to it even though it might be a little bit weird coming in and out of the bedroom like that but it's a nice way to get out of the bedroom if you uh i don't know just need some fresh air so we have a santa crash under the stairs taking us to the second level which is basically all fortress themed so we have the big war statue we have the mannequin that blows on the horn <laughs> and just below it we have a brotherhood of steel guarding the house i might as well just jump down there and he blows up. From a distance, it looks quite nice too, because it's like he's sort of guarding the house there up on the rock. Yeah, it looks good. All right, now how do I get back up from here? I usually don't jump down here. I didn't really think this through. 
I just want to clip this in, a small little update that I've done to the base since uh, the video was recorded. I fixed the stairs, the contemporary stairs, so that's nice. I've changed the benches out front of the house, which I like. I've added a bust on top of the piano, which is also great. Finally got the vault tech bed to match the rest of the room. Decorated this room a little bit, but now I have the Deathclaw, the Deathclaw mask and the Old Man Winter. So I have all the rare masks here, and I have the other ones, but I would need another display case to show them off. I've decorated Commander Daguerre. <laughs> I think that's all my changes. So a quick little update that I wanted to clip in. So yeah, that's pretty much the full tour. I mean, I went over it pretty quickly. There's a lot of small details that could get underappreciated. I mean, if you guys are big into building in this game, you might you might appreciate this build uh, more than some. Oh yeah, there's like the backsplashes, little things that I probably didn't point out that maybe some of you will notice that uh, really made this whole thing come together quite nicely. And I'm, I'm really, really proud of it. And mainly because if we open up the build mode, here you can see there's no borders i've gone right through and over them like it's right there the house even like i had to take out a chunk here because that's actually outside of the circle like the circle literally wraps through this house it's insane so i barely squeeze anything in and you can see it goes right up to the water wheel obviously there's some open space here but why would i want to fill up that area and and ruin the view i did have purifiers there once upon a time but it just really ruined the view but the log cabin right on the edge of the border cd shed even the uh, sign here it, this stuff it's all hugging the edges and same can be said all the way over here to the cornfield and the way i've integrated the path it actually goes outside of the circle so uh, it's pretty crazy and down at the bottom of the circle obviously we have all these decorations and the build limit what's really crazy the build limit actually ends right here right there I cannot build any higher than that and even to get the power cables up here I had to put this down below wire it up and then put it back above <laughs> the only reason I could get the roof off or the roof on sorry is because it let me build the just the tibbity bottom of it above the build limit and it let the rest go in so as long as you have like a bit of it in it'll let you place it but yeah i can't place anything on top of the roof i can't place anything on the wall here because it actually goes above the build limit so i've i've i was really worried i had to put a flat roof on this and that would have made me upset but i've definitely utilized the height the depth and the width of the build limit and capabilities of what you can do with camps in fallout 76 and as you can see it creates this really cool view where we have uh, you know we're just peering down at almost like a village down below a bridge the cabin the cd shed the camp area and it kind of brings it all together as makes it feel more like a settlement than it does a camp and and this is not just your average contemporary house i've integrated bits of metal these are all metal walling uh in, in with the garage extension and you know unique wallpapers and things like that grates and floors and and the floor you know you need the stairs to make these floors which is actually part of the interior of the house so it has this interlinking um complexity to it it, which definitely sets it apart from the rest in some sort of way so i think there's a, there's a lot more to the build than meets the eye when you first look at it but i think anyone that's built in this game can understand like you get an idea in fallout and it doesn't always come to fruition because certain things just don't allow you to uh place things the way you wanted them to and it can get very very frustrating but i also have the um spring pack which i placed these trees around some bushes down there we have another tree over there. Cabin bundle, which allowed me to grab this. The CD shed, Foss knot bundle. Um, trying to think what else I got. Some some certain things for the um, wallpaper and stuff. I think that was with the cabin bundle. But as many of the uh, building bundles as I could possibly acquire with all my atoms, I'm actually, I had 6,000 atoms and I'm down to <laughs> 115 today because of all the stuff that went up on the marketplace. So quite sad, don't have any more atoms, but I think it was worth it. We got this place exactly to where we wanted it and i am quite proud of this build so what we're trying to do now is turn this into a multi-settlement spotlight so if you guys subscribe and tune back in my friend wants me to feature his uh settlement over there which is not a camp he's doing a multi-building build inspired by mine and my other friend is building just up the road here and she's also has a settlement with multi-buildings combined and i'm really liking the what 
what these guys are coming up with it, it's looking absolutely amazing and i'm hoping we can get some more neighbors just down the road because we do have a lake over there and it actually has three brahmin that spawn in so if you want to make a little farm or whatever you can get some extra brahmin down there nice little feature too we are all also just off the side of pleasant valley train station so we can go hand in our scripts and our daily 1400 caps which is really useful boom so there you guys go what did you think please do leave a comment down below be sure to subscribe for more settlement spotlights if you like this video if you like this build there's a playlist down in the description the first link that you can click in the description is going to be a playlist and i think this is going to be episode 20 or something so there's 20 other episodes just like this featuring some amazing builds and i, I really encourage you guys to go check them out and to subscribe for the future ones where we show off all of the neighbors around us and plenty more as well so i love checking out settlements and i want to see your guys' settlements so come join us on discord and uh, add me as your friend and all that and we will get to your settlement and feature it and i'm looking to see if anybody has come up with something different than what i've seen you know a lot of people are just building these box houses and uh i just i want to see a little bit of innovation and that's pretty much going to do it for me ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video. Bye now.